now we will try to find out the answer to the three questions first is why decision regarding career is one of the most crucial decisions of our lives second why some individuals change career and the third is in the case of career advancement sometimes our family circumstances are not normal and whether in that situation we should place our career first or we should give preference to our family so let us start first is why decision regarding career is one of the most crucial decisions of our lives it is an important decision which we have to take regarding our career most of the time we find that our parents say that your relative has become a doctor and the other day they may say that your cousin has become an engineer and they may also say that that person that student which was studying in your class has become pilot that is they go on giving their own observations or comments regarding the career which we should choose on the other hand we do not have interest to become an engineer or a pilot they may ask us that is the parents may ask us then what do you want to become in your life on number part we don't have answer to this because we are uncertain about our future there is lot of societal pressure on us we have inadequate knowledge to decide in which field we should go forward so very often careers or jobs are chosen based on the following factors what parents say what the family business is what friends are taking up if suppose the friends are pursuing a bachelor's degree in engineering we may follow them it may also happen that most of our friends are interested to become teacher and they may pursue their educational qualification accordingly and we may follow them sometimes it happens that when we want to get admission in some university for the higher level studies we think that which university is nearby our house and in which course we can easily get admission then we may also think that which career has more money so that we can lead a satisfied life in future sometimes the students end up taking the decision on the basis of inadequate knowledge or under societal pressure when due to the lack of proper knowledge or under societal pressure that is what our parents saying what our relatives are saying or what the other students are doing which courses are they pursuing and keeping in view all these factors when we join any educational course or we think that we should become a teacher or a an engineer or a pilot then it may happen that we may direct ourselves into a career that do not match with our abilities values skills that is we do not have the skills or the abilities to become an engineer or a pilot but we are pursuing that career we are getting the educational qualification or the training to become or the pilot or engineer 
and thereby lead to job stress or dissatisfaction because we are not having because that job or that career is not up to our values passions skills abilities and not does not match with our strengths and weaknesses a study was conducted in 2014 in america and it was found that only 52.3% of americans report being satisfied with their jobs in other words we can say that about half of the americans were not satisfied with their jobs at that time so it is has become very important for all of us that when we are taking the decision with regard to our career we should take the decision only after a due thinking process because the job or career affects our mental well being if we land in a job or a career which is does not match with our skills abilities or values or passions it may lead to job dissatisfaction or stress next is why career change or choosing a new career path sometimes some persons change career why do they so do so why they do so there are many reasons that someone may need or want to change career at some point in their life that is the circumstances may become so that they have to think that they should change their career we will now discuss some of the common reasons for the option opting of the change of career by some persons first is lack of fulfillment or satisfaction there are some cases when people are not satisfied in their current career or current job so they think it fit that they should change their career so that it may bring a sense of purpose or satisfaction so that they may feel satisfied next point is life changes it may also become necessary to change career in view of the major life events like marriage parenthood relocation next point is to advance their careers some people change career to advance their career their careers or earn more money for example if a person is having a bachelor's degree degree in english he may decide that he should get a law degree so that he may become an advocate and he may earn more money next point is to find a better work life balance it may happen that we are doing a job in which there are fixed time hours 9 to 5 but we are not satisfied we or there is a heavy load work pressure is very much on the high side in our job so in that case some people change careers to find a job which offers more flexibility and allows them to spend more time with their families or pursue other interests because in some jobs a person has to do overtime without no monetary benefit so in that case the person may think that he should choose a job or a career in which he may give sufficient time to his family as well next is health considerations health issues may require individuals to 
change a career that is more suitable for the well-being. It may be possible that you are doing a marketing job in which you have to do traveling many miles a day. But with the passage of time, as you become elder or older in age, then you may find that you are not finding it easy to do marketing and travel many miles a day. So in that case, you may decide that you should change your job or career so that you can lead a satisfied life. Next is to avoid burnout or stress. It may be possible that the job which you are doing is resulting into persistent burnout. There is lot of stress in the job which you are doing or in some jobs which are which pose threat to our health. There are certain industries in which which result into some type of health problem. So in that case the people may also decide to seek less demanding or more fulfilling career path that is they may decide to change career or job. Next point is economic factors. Economic changes such as a recession or industry decline can make a current career less viable prompting individuals to explore alternative options. You have already seen that a few years back there was coronavirus all over the world and in that case many a people left their jobs because the circumstances were such that it had become impossible for them to earn the livelihood. For example, in travel industry, which was badly hit during the coronavirus and many people opted out of the travel industry and as the tourists have declined all over the world. So in that case, this persons may decide to change career so that they may earn some livelihood to maintain the life. Next point is new interests or passions. As we grow and change, we may develop new interests and passions. And on the basis of these new passions and interests, we may decide that we should change our career, which is as per our evolving preferences. Next is better opportunities. It may happen that sometimes we come across better opportunities in another industry or in another career where there are better job prospects. The chances of promotion are on the higher side and we are getting higher salary. The working conditions are much better or there is better work life balance that is we can devote more time to our family instead of less time to our family. So in view of all these factors, we may decide to change our career. So career changes can be driven by a combination of personal, professional and external factors. Changing careers can be a daunting task but it can also be a rewarding experience. If you are thinking or considering to change your career, it is very important for you to do your research and develop a plan. You can also avail the services of a career counselor or other trusted advisor 
so that the transition is smooth. Next point is placing family first. In fact, it is a question that is in case of adverse family circumstances. If we are offered a promotion and we have to go to a different place, then what we should do? Whether we should place our family first or we should accept the promotion and go away. We take here, we understand this concept with the help of an example. Suppose there is a person A. He has many family members in, our fam in his family. Father, mother, wife. Suppose his father is suffering from some serious illness. Now A has got a promotion and he has to join at the next place which is say 1000 miles away. Then what he should do? Whether he should leave his family, whether he should leave his father in the serious illness condition and should accept the promotion and go away so that he may enjoy the better perks, better salary. In another case, suppose there is a person B. He is having, he is married. He is having a wife and two children. He is a central government employee. That is, his services can be transferred throughout anywhere in the country. His wife is also an employee, but he is a local government employee. That is, his services can be transferred within a fixed range, that is, within a one particular state only, and not throughout the country. Suppose this B person gets promotion and he is posted 5000 miles away. What should he do? Because his wife is already working, whether he should give away and should not think about the children, who will take care of the children? Whether he should go away and his wife should do his do her job and also look after the Two minor children, is it justified? Next, we take another example. Suppose there is a person C. He is having in his family a brother who is mentally retarded. And there is no other person in his family to look after him. He is also getting a promotion and posting outside. What should he do? Whether he should leave his brother at his own condition and go away? It may be also possible that there is a person D and his mother is suffering from, say, cancer. And the doctors have advised that she may survive only five months. Then, if the, this person D is to join at the new posting within 15 days, what should he do? Whether he should look after his mother, which is on the deathbed, or he should join the new posting? It is also a question. Some persons may argue that he should join at the new place and then come back after taking leave, whether it is possible in this competitive world. No office is having extra staff. Every person in, the, in any organization has to do his best efforts and only then the organization is, work, is able to do proper service.
it is not possible for you to think that 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 person should go and come back on leave the other person who will be the in charge may not grant him the leave or the circumstances in the office may not be such that he may join get promotion at the new place and return back for 6 months it will not be possible then what should you do it is also a question so in all these cases what a person should do the circumstances are very are very difficult and the person is in a very difficult situation whether what to do if he does not accept promotion it may be possible that he may get promotion after 3 or 4 years so now we come we will read sometimes we have to choose whether to accept a promotion that would give us increase in our salary increase in our status or to forego our promotion due to family circumstances the family circumstances may be such at that relevant time that there may be a serious illness in our family member in such cases when the adverse circumstances in our family or our personal circumstances are such that which are not favorable we may feel torn between our professional life and personal life that is we also want to accept the promotion but on the other hand we also think that we should take care of our family it is the family who stands by us at the times of great difficulties in that situation it may be a good option to refuse promotion and stay with the family so that we may help our ailing family member in his fight with the serious illness as they are the ones who provide us with emotional and mental support when everything else goes wrong the same reply also applies in the case of working wife mentally retarded brother so while refusing a promotion might slow down your career progress temporarily it may not necessarily derail your long term aspirations it that is if you forego promotion it does not mean that you will that there will be no chance in future that you will get promotion you will surely get promotion but it may take some time you can revisit career opportunities in future when family circumstances improve however there is no one size fits all answer that is whether to place family first or whether a person opts for promotion although the family circumstances are not good the persons may behave differently because every person has his own sets of thinking beliefs own past experience own family circumstances and the right choice will depend on individual priorities and responsibilities thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course